Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, at the beginning of this year, some major news broke where a handful of key developers from Playground Games left the studio, including creative director Mike Brown, who helped launch Forza Horizon 5. Now, this news came about during a time when many players within the community were not really satisfied with how Horizon 5 was delivering its monthly content, which then kind of left us, the players, speculating why this was the case. The first popular speculation was perhaps the creative director and a few other major X player on games employees were not happy with where Horizon 5 was heading towards in the foreseeable future due to possible limitations set by Microsoft, therefore leaving Playground Games and creating their own gaming studio called Maverick Games where creativity is highly encouraged. The other popular speculation was perhaps the game was so negatively received during this time that maybe the creative director Mike Brown did not know how to turn Horizon 5 around, therefore it was the best decision for him to leave as he has also stated in a recent interview that he is more of an open world guy more so than a car guy. Of course, there are many other speculations, so who exactly knows? But since his departure along with some of the other developers too, Horizon 5 has been rather enjoyable including some very good content that the community actually wants as of late. Now this isn't to say that Mike Brown was the problem at Playground Games, but if his decision to leave has led Playground Games to respond in a manner where we do get good and enjoyable content every month, then fantastic. However, only time will tell. Now, with all that said, just the other day, it was announced that Gavin Rayburn, who was one of the co-founders for Playground Games back in 2010, has launched a new AAA gaming studio called Lighthouse Games. Now, for those that may be unaware as to who Mr. Rayburn is, well, prior to founding Playground Games, Rayburn was formerly a Codemaster executive that worked on other huge racing game franchises that some of you may know about, like Dirt, Grid and Formula One, leading those titles to major success. Then soon after, leaving Codemasters, co-founded Playground Games and was the creative director for the original Forza Horizon back on the Xbox 360. Yes, that's correct. The man that is responsible for the game that started it all with the Horizon series and has now become one of the most successful Xbox franchises ever. Now from Horizon 2 onwards, Gavin Rayburn would step aside as creative director and become the studio director for Playground Games and would stay in that role all the way up to January of 2022 where then he decided to part ways. And after a year later, it's been finally revealed as to what his plans are. Ah. Now, according to many gaming articles, Gavin Rayburn and Lighthouse Gaming currently has around 30 employees, with many of them being industry veterans, including some other founding members of Playground Games that worked on the original Forza Horizon title too. Although there are no current details as to what Lighthouse Gaming is working on for its first project, Rayburn states that people should be looking at Lighthouse expecting that we'll be producing something highly polished and technical technologically ambitious. That's exactly our ambition and the heritage of our team makes that possible. Which is great to hear, but what makes Lighthouse Gaming a little more exciting to gamers that love racing games is that Raven also goes on to say that the DNA is now at Lighthouse and with it we intend to build something truly special using all of our experience to create a new genre defining franchise almost in a way subtly alluding that the original members that created Xbox's biggest and most successful racing franchise are here now and with our expertise we are going to create something special. It's also important to note that whenever he mentions his other team members, he doesn't just refer them as ex-Playground Game developers, but he also highlights the fact that they have worked on the original Forza Horizon title as well. So it's all looking interesting at this very moment. Some of the key members from Rayburn's Lighthouse Gaming Studio team includes Andy Ward, who previously worked as a production director at Playground Games and senior producer at Ubisoft, John Davis Hunt, who was a former senior designer at Codemasters and lead designer at Playground Games, along with a few more who has also worked at Playground Games, Codemasters and PlayStation 2. 
but I do find it a little strange that within a year period, so many major key figures at Playground Games have decided to leave. Maybe within the gaming industry, there's only so much shelf time you have within your position that you either get bored and want to start something yourself, or you have accomplished everything you wanted at this particular place, and it's now time to move along to something bigger and better, which does sound like what both Mike Brown and Gavin Rabin has done. So then you might be asking yourself, well, what about Playground Games right now? What's happening to them? It sounds like the team developers are leaving left, right and center. Well, I believe they are absolutely fine. With Playground Games, there were three founding fathers, one of them of course being Gavin Rayburn, but the other two are still at Playground Games, one being Ralph Fulton, who not only was the creative director for Horizon 2 through to the launch of Horizon 4, but is currently the chief creative officer at Playground Games. Now, I'm not sure if his position has changed since Mike Brown's departure. He could be the creative director right now, but I actually don't know, but I also don't think this news with Lighthouse Gaming would impact Forza Horizon 5 as much as Mike Brown's news earlier this year, as the team at Maverick Games were literally involved in Forza Monthlies and Let's Go live streams just a few months prior before revealing their new gaming studio. But in terms of which ex-Playground Games developers that have both gone to start their own gaming studio will actually make another racing game. I'm probably leaning more towards Lighthouse Games. From what was published, the team comprises of the original Forza Horizon developers, and I'm sure after stepping aside for quite some time now and seeing where the series has gone, perhaps they believe it's now the right time to develop something revolutionary within the genre, the same way they repopularized open world racing games back in 2012, whereas Maverick Games, although Mike Brown worked on Horizon 2, was a senior game designer for Horizon 3, and became the creative director halfway through the life of Horizon 4 and throughout Horizon 5, I don't know if Mike Brown and the other ex-Playground Games developers that have left with him are really keen on starting another racing game again, especially right after leaving one. Again, these are just early days though, we don't know what the plans are for both of these studios, but the fact that they both came from the same place is what makes this exciting, to see what these gaming studios plans are, and what they decide on releasing. Whatever that may be, we wish them both the best of luck. I'm still going to be playing Forza Horizon 5, and if both these news result in the Horizon series getting better, then I'm all for it. Fingers crossed, Update 20 will be good as well. And what do you make of all of this? Let me know down in the comment section below as I do read all of your comments, guys. But anyways, if you guys did find this video interesting or helpful, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon 5 related, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.